And someone who is never a stranger to controversy is DJ Academics. But this time, y'all, it has come up in a recent post, you guys, and an audio clip then leaked and came out into the internet where he is talking about there is no difference between dating a 21-year-old girl and a 17-year-old girl, and both of them are going to get that D. Let's go ahead and play that clip, and we'll come back and talk about it. Like, like it's more like all the time. About it in the bigger scheme of things, there's not much difference between a 20 or a 17 or a 21 and a 17. Just kind of mean one's a minor and one's not a minor. But I will say, listen, I adopted this rule, which I think it was fine. I said, listen, man, as long as a chick got a college ID, she's getting fucked. I don't care if she's 17. I don't care if she's 17 and a half. I don't care if she just turned 17. She's going to get this dick. And Real honest with you guys. All right. Ciao. Okay, so allegedly, you guys, and, and maybe this changes how you think about it. Allegedly, this audio was when he was 20 years old. Um, and it's super old from 2013. Besa, girl, what? <laughs> what? I didn't, know, I didn't even know he was podcasting back in 20, 2013. So it kind of reminds me of uh, those old tweets that everybody has that have just been popping up. And it's like somehow, some way they go back on Twitter to like 2010. That 20, 2008 to 2011 era of Twitter was hot so man. <laughs> yes and so uh this that this is basically what that reminds me of um <sighs> does it matter to you that he was 20 when he said this what i would say about him saying this when he was when it was 20 because honestly, I don't really care when he says it because he's not my cup of tea. Um, right. But <laughs> it's in general, my thought is he was clearly doing that, right? So it's like, it's like, why would you say that if you didn't actually do it or you didn't think about it? I'm I like, am going. I'm going with Darnell in this situation, and that the most sickening part of this is the mindset. And that he is of the thought that he still has that mindset. And so if you are 20 and you say something like that, you know, having sex with a 17 year old girl doesn't seem that crazy. But if you're a 25, 26, 30 grown man thinking about having sex with minors, it's giving pedophile and it's giving rapist. And I think we have to like we can't keep giving excuses to all of this stuff like it's giving predator vibes and the way that he says it is is very um absent of thinking about that the the woman on the other end right and so just how i'm saying protect our black boys we have to protect our black girls and he's talking about just because you got a college id you know you going to get this work i was 17 when i went into college right and you're coming out of high school. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. I mean, it's it's one of those situations where that is why we have laws around this, right? The age of consent is there for a reason. And so we have to honor that. We need to recognize that. And I think it's just disheartening that and sickening, right? Like you got a plethora of other women who are of legal age and of consenting All age. In the club. <laughs> Okay, on your HBCU campus, like it's a, it's a, it's a million and one. Okay, the, I mean, it's not like you, you don't have to look far, brother, but to come out and, like you said, to spill it all in an audio clip like that and have it resurface. I mean, it goes back to like watch what you say. I mean, back in the day, we just had no idea this stuff was all going to come back to haunt us. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure my Twitter feed looks crazy. But I've been definitely trying to figure out how to delete that because Lord, I, I don't even know what's back there, and I don't want to at this point. But I really oh. don't want to. But honestly, I didn't even think of it the way that Darnell said in terms of like, okay, yeah, he's a grown man now. So does he still think that? Because you can be 16 and be in college. They have the Head Start programs. You could be real young and be in college. So if it's just about a college ID, you know, 20 versus 17. 
I hate to say it, but okay. It's a three-year difference. And in some states, 17 is of consent. So at that point, it really just kind of depends on where you're living at when you say something like that. But when you're like 30, like you said, 35, doing the R. Kelly, prowling around McDonald's. Because uh, that's what vibe it's giving. Like the leaked audio is giving that. It's giving very much that. It's giving very much predator prowling, looking for young girls, you know, and that's ultimately, I think, the mindset that I'm agreeing with um, Darnell on. So, y'all, yeah. listen, first of all, watch your mouth. OK, second of all, wash your mouth out with soap and clean your mind out. If you have these thoughts and, and aspirations, you need to go sit down with a mental health counselor and get yourself together and in check. I hope that we're having these conversations around people who can check us to say like, nah, dude, like that's a hot mess.com. Like you need to chill. It, I, I just, I hate it here. I hate it here. And somebody like DJ academics who has a huge platform um, and who does say controversial things on his platform all the time and has, you know, has so many hot topics on his platform. I mean, he does need to respond to this. And I think he does need to, to say something to it, even if it was um, a super long time ago. So we'll, well see. He he doesn't doesn't say anything? No. And, and, get, and I, I guarantee you, he plans on not saying anything about it. Interesting. Which is so crazy because he, he be so quick to pop up talking about, you know, information from Megan Thee Stallion's case. I'm over here trying to see if there's anything on his Twitter, but I don't see anything. Um, you know what? If he responds to it, He's gonna do it on Clubhouse, and guess what? We and we not even on Clubhouse no more. Do it on Clubhouse, and, but that's my point because when you when you're on Clubhouse, he has all his friends. He has, you know, you he know, has his, he built his team on there. Yeah, like this just all these other very very loud and opinionated men within the industry. They all like pretty much share one room, and they have like these just heated conversations or just over overexposed conversations if you will so i wouldn't be surprised if when we finally do hear about him saying something it's going to be an audio clip from clubhouse i couldn't agree more honestly i thought about that too and to be honest i mean it, it's you know his clubhouse is like an echo chamber like he's only going to hear things that sound like him which is why he loves it so I mean, I, I doubt that he will say anything to your point if he does it may or may not come out on Clubhouse, but he's probably just going to let this thing roll until we forget about it and something else happens in the news. So mm -hmm. there you have it, you guys. Uh, our top influencers are out here just sounding and looking a hot mess.